Hello everyone and welcome to Werven's World. Today I would like to review Gemcraft Chasing Shadows. So Gemcraft is a tower defense game and there are many many thousands of tower defense games uh, but Gemcraft kind of distinguishes itself uh, in the way it handles uh, towers and that's basically you don't really build individual different towers as normally for example you have an arrow tower and a cannon tower that does a bit of AoE and all that. Here you actually build gems. And the interesting thing about these gems is that you don't only um, upgrade these gems, uh, like you upgrade towers and other games, but you can also mix and match them as you want. You can kind of combine them in order to create uh, towers that uh, do exactly what you want. For example, if you want to poison a lot of enemies at the same time, you could mix a um, chain gem with a poison gem in order to, to chain your poison to other uh, enemies um, and so on. And furthermore you can put these gems uh, in either a trap so that it uh, kind of um, well it's just on the ground and enemies have to walk over it. You can put it in a tower so that they can shoot at the enemies uh, or you can put it in amplifiers which uh, amplifies the power of either traps and towers. Um, so there's a lot of variety in basically how you want to solve a level. Um, so yeah, Gemcraft is a really really big game. Um, there are a ton of levels, like really really a lot. You can do um, these levels on different difficulties. The game allows you to even tweak your difficulty. Uh, you can kind of add different battle traits that allow you to basically get some disadvantages in the game but as a reward they give you better um, experience as well as better talisman fragments and these talisman fragments are quite interesting. They're kind of items you can uh, use in order to boost your power for uh, subsequent levels. So uh, there's a lot of customization in there. Um, not only does it have these talisman fragments, uh, furthermore it also has a currency type which are shadow cores and you use uh, shadow cores for both upgrading these talismans as well as increasing your chances for getting these talismans. Um, there's even more customization in the game, you can uh, customize your skills, it's quite interesting, you get skill points through uh, beating levels, gaining levels um, um, and uh, collecting achievements and these skills they give you a certain amount of starting mana. However you can also choose to spend these skill points into actual skills for example to improve the power of certain gems or to improve some of your spells and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so there's kind of a trade-off there in how many points do you want to put into making your spells and gems better versus how much starting mana do you want to have. So in that sense there is a lot and lot of customization in the game. Um, there is also another mode, uh, it's called the Iron Wizard mode. Uh, I personally prefer that mode because it allows you to um, basically play the game while it keeps being a challenge. Uh, in the uh, base game basically you can grind up some levels so that you become more powerful and thus beat um, other levels that should have been a challenge fairly easily. Of course you can improve the difficulty level by yourself. Um, but in Iron Wizard mode, basically each level you beat gives you about 5 skill points, I think. And then uh, once you beat that, you won't gain anything from that level anymore. So you really have to go through e each level in order to become more powerful and in the end try and defeat the final boss. So there's a lot, a lot of content in this game, lots of customization. Um, on to some negatives of the game is basically if you really st want to start endurance runs, which are meant for farming uh, your levels and uh, and skills um, then basically at some point uh, you're going to have thousands of monsters on the screen at the same time. Um, the problem with that is well it sounds like a lot of fun the problem is that your game is going to lag like crazy. My uh, computer I built a new one last year and it's kind of top of the uh, was a top of the line thing but uh, a simple game like this uh, it's brought down to its knees because of the sheer stuff that's happening and I think it's not that well programmed in that sense for efficiency um, because well you just kind of well <laughs> your computer just basically dies uh, so if you want to do endurance runs which can take a lot of hours at some point um, then you're just looking at a very very choppy game for a very long time which to me isn't that great and I don't really do endurance runs that much for that reason. Um, the graphics, well for me they're perfectly serviceable but I mean I'm not a graphic person so you shouldn't ask me about that too much uh, but uh, some people find them ugly, some find them uh, good. I just, they don't bother me at all. It's, for me it's really about the gameplay mechanics and they're quite interesting. 
Another thing that you could either see as a negative or positive is the way how gem damage and uh, abilities are calculated. And that's done uh, through very, very, very weird mathematics. And because of that, um, creating better, better gems is not something you can do on feeling alone. You can't just say like, hey, I want a lot of poison damage um, and I want a little bit of AoE in there, like I don't want too much. So I will create a high level poison damage gem with a, and I will combine it with a very low level AoE gem. Um, of course you can do that uh, up to a cer certain extent, but if you really want the best gems, then you have to start looking into programs that calculate how many uh, hundreds of gems you have to combine to each other in a very, very specific order in order to to gain the most powerful gem to me personally that's a bit tedious other people like it so well you can make up your own mind about that so uh, yeah the game um well it's it's really if you like tower defense games like i do then this uh, definitely um I definitely recommend buying it. It's uh, one of my favorite tower defense games. Uh, there's a lot to do. It offers a fair challenge. You can really increase increase the challenge however you want. Um, you can even uh, drop. Uh, you can even turn your gems into bombs that you either drop on the enemies themselves, or you can uh, drop them on the waves that will be coming, and then those waves will become enraged and they will become more numerous and more strong. And there's really, really a lot of things you can do. Like it's a really, really deep tower defense game. Uh, so in that sense, it's really great. So uh, yeah, I definitely, I guess if I had to give it a numerical score, I guess I would give it like an eight out of ten or something. Because well, the the how do you call it? Um, the game just clo slows down to a crawl so much like it really starts lagging when there's too many monsters on the screen and that's for me a, a big negative but uh, but at least the game is fun it's it's really um it's really lots of fun to play you can sink many 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 hours in it so uh, if you like tower defense games uh, definitely be sure to pick this up so i hope you find it useful and see you next time